Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Brothers Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3. It's time for World 3, and we're gonna start with a pipe. These pipes are basically there just to allow you to skip parts of the levels if you got a game over before. Hell? How did that car pop off from there? Huh. Hope it's gonna stay. Cool. Finally finished this. Hopefully. Damn it, I already forgot. Um. Yeah, the ice flower was here, right? Damn it! Okay. Cool. We know this is 20 coins. This is 10 coins. It has to be this. Damn it! Uh, uh, I keep messing up! Uh, definitely gonna do it next time. Definitely gonna do it next time. I have such crap memory right now, though. Uh, there's a secret right down here. Oh, I, I should have put the frog suit on. Frog suit is kind of a handicap in uh, non-water levels, but it's so fun in actual water levels. Because after you wear the frog suit and go on a water level, you realize how much uh, the controls suck for water levels. Yes, I am going above the water level. <laughs> I'm not... I already said it before, I don't have to show everything about a level, even though I'm going to play all of them. There's going to be more water levels in the future, for those of you who enjoy them. I'm going to have to play those. Seriously, look at all these water levels. Uh, Big Bertha spawns in this level, I think. Or the next one. I'm not positive. Damn it! Why, why did it go on the right side? How was I supposed to, be able to catch it if it was going to go to the right? I think it's because the game expects you to hit that uh, thing uh, from the left. That's why I went to the right. Because I hit it from the right. Or, uh, why I went to the left, because I hit it from the right. Explaining myself was really hard right now. And oh uh, yeah, really, a really short level otherwise. What a crappy combo of panels. Gimme. Oh cool, another frog suit. I guess we definitely have to use one now. We seriously need to use uh, our items uh, often enough because uh, otherwise uh, the inventory is going to get cluttered really, really quickly. And uh, what sucks about uh, frog suits when uh, you're in uh, like uh, above uh, water is that you run like this. See? And Big Berta spawns back uh, really quickly. Anyway, yeah, Big Berta down there, instant kill if it... Uh, Swallows you whole. If you hit it, uh, you just get damaged, though. It was always a terrifying enemy back when uh, we were younger. It, it appears in uh, games uh, even uh, now, modern games even now, but uh, it's not nearly as terrifying because of how slow it is compared to this original game. In this one, it's relentless. You know, I'm just holding up and I'm swimming like a normal person should. Ain't that great? And all I had to do is wear a frog suit to make it happen. Oh, I think some levels are impossible with the frog suit, now that I think about it. Because I, I don't think you can, uh... You, I don't think you can crouch, for one, in the frog suit. And because of that, you can't slide down. And because of that, some levels, well, are impossible, as I said. But it's so fun. You just gotta get hit if you can't to continue with a level with the frog. Oh man, which door am I gonna pick? That was the wrong door. Um. Okay. There's a lot of doors here. 
When I was younger, I always remembered the exact door I had to pick. Yeah, I was getting tired of the rock suit, actually. So, it's definitely not the last door, that's too obvious. I think it's this one? Nope. Door number five! Yes! I mean, it's not the actual proper door, but uh, it's a good door. And door, no, door number six was the actual correct answer. Okay. RNG in a Mario game? That never happens. Well, it's not really RNG if you know which door it is. You'll always know how to do it. Anyway, yeah, there was a different form of Boom Boom right there. Would have flied around. Yeah, it doesn't matter because you can easily beat Boom Boom like that. Boom Boom was always easy. Yes. Yes, I want to finish that stupid card game. I'm so dumb. There we go. And that's it. <laughs> it's just going to do a new card game next time we try that. Wrong on all accounts. I guess you only get a chance for it to leave if you, um, uh, well, win. Okay, so it's two hammer bros, so it's a Oh, wow. Invincible frames don't last nearly as long as I expected there. But yeah, as long as you're careful, you should win. And you get another hammer, but we're definitely not using that hammer for um, the uh, thing right there. So we're not going to showcase that thing right over there. Seriously, who, who the hell would do that? Yeah, that's the passage that brings back to the start. This one leads to... Over here. It also shows you that uh, there's a boat that leads you to what looks like some secrets. But will we be able to get to that boat? Maybe. Time for world four. stage four. I keep calling them. This I keep calling the stages worlds. I don't know why. It might be because I'm playing a game that calls its stages quote unquote worlds itself. Momentum! That is a Mama Goomba. The one that was flying around. Because it kept spawning more Goombas. I demanded you explain the lore behind that, uh, Nintendo. I almost died, by the way. Don't know if some of you have noticed. Yeah, screw you, like you. Don't even bother respawning in less than four seconds. Okay, that's dumb. You move up thinking you'll have a chance to go through the bridges, and then they suddenly open up. Anyway, the way it works is that uh, after you beat these uh, stages, it alternates. Anyway, I guess I'll go through this water level. Uh, Big Berta's still here, and it... She'll still kill you in one hit, but she's not actively chasing you around. Raccoon Tail does, in fact, suck in underwater, so... So I picked a Mario Flower. Yum. Ow! What the heck? Mario, your head is too dummy thick. Ah, and your legs too, damn it. 
There is some stuff up there in case you're wondering. Could have probably gone there immediately, but I chose not to. <laughs> I guess subconsciously I really wanted to wear my frog suit. Uh, oh, but we can go here now. So even if we, it's not if you beat a level, it's also if you just uh, try to beat a level. And I got another frog suit. Okay, good. It's the game telling me I gotta use the frog suit. Look at all those sprites. Sprite for swimming up, swimming down. Ain't that great. This music is wonderful, by the way. I think it was even better in the All-Stars version, but that's only because the Game Boy Advance had a really crappy um, sound chip. Oh, what up? Not that I really need any 1-ups, but, uh, you know. Nice. Heck, 1-ups will be more useful in Mario Maker 2! Can make those a requirement! I wonder if getting 100 coins to get a 1-up will be a uh, way to get that uh, objective fulfilled in Mario Maker 2. I guess we'll see. Anyway, RIP! Couldn't get through three matching panels, but we already showed that before, so it does not matter. Um, yeah, nine stages, kind of crazy. But what we're going to do is we're going to showcase what happens when we go over here. I think that was the last hammer we'll ever get, unfortunately. So you can get a bunch of stuff. Hey, Maro's model, uh, sp sprite model, as a, with a frog suit in the All-Stars version, I think it would look freaky. I'm not positive if it even was like that, though. Like, I can't remember. If it was, though, it, it looked creepy. I seem to recall something like that, like when I was playing All-Stars. Yeah, I'm not even trying with these things. I'm just, uh, completing them, quote-unquote. Is a frog suit? I don't know if I can tell. Could be worse. About this. Not a raccoon tail. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna take him. Take those. But we're not done. Hoo hoo hoo. We're not done yet. There's one more thing right over here. This is a big world in case you, you haven't noticed. Oh. A fire flower? Ugh. I know. Uh, yeah, it's still a power-up that can be useful in case I lose a life, but jeez. You know, yeah, you can go all the way here, and there's a bridge down there for some dumb reason, and I'm not sure why. I think the only reason that bridge down there exists is to show you in what state the bridges are in. If you somehow lose the um, airship level. Because I think it's possible for the airship to be uh, uh, between these things or something like that. An auto-scrolling level with the uh, frog suit. Terrific. I'm gonna try to keep the frog suit. Well, why not? Ah! Woo -hoo -hoo. The momentum. It's it's freaky. It's hard to gauge how fast you're moving. And they mean to lose it, but whatever. You can grab stuff with the frog suit. It looks dumb and kind of freaky, but can do it. Damn it! Koopa! Ah! ah Koopas! Ugh! Yeah, there was a one up right there. I hate how these uh, things that you can grab, these ice blocks or whatever, melt so quickly. And I hate those things that spin around too, because if you're even close to them, as soon as it starts spinning, it's uh, very likely they'll send you flying. Like, super far. Like, it's a fun interaction, but it's also... Uh, why does this happen to me? 
No, it's Hammer Bro time. Right after I take one of those fire flowers. Because they're yummy. Damn it! How could I lose the fire flower? Not to fight. But yeah, you should still give you top items like the star. Oh, there is an item I forgot to explain what it does. The um, music note. Uh, I'm not sure what to call this. I'll call it a music box. Basically, when you play it, uh, Hammer Bros on the uh, overworld go to sleep, allowing you to go right over them. It only lasts for one stage, though. So much like the cloud item, it's not very useful. These enemies are new, and although you see them in some other Mario games, they're not very common. Playing so terribly right now. Yeah, they got this freaky ability to spawn uh, spike balls, uh, spike balls, yeah, spike balls uh, from their mouth, which they used to throw at you, which can kill you very easily. Just ignore them, really. Fire flower. I gotta make sure not to accidentally use uh, the wrong item when I'm picking them. Probably should have picked uh, the uh, frog suit for this castle. I think this is one of the only underwater ones. Also, I call this a castle, it's a fortress. I honestly don't remember much of this. Because I think I always skipped the fortress. I think when I was playing Mario Brothers 3 casually when I was young, I often just uh, got like I would start getting bored playing the game when I would reach World 3 for some reason. I'm not sure how to explain it specifically, but it could also be because of these freaky ghosts. <laughs> Seriously, who designs those things? Anyway, we have the Fire Flower for Boom Boom here, so let's showcase what happens when we try to use it against him. Yes, he's even easier than before! It's four, I think it's four or five hits from the Fire Flower and he's dead. What a weakling. Well, I guess I'm going to play the card game again, but uh, after this I think I'll start to ignore it. You see? It's the same thing, but now it's all different. So, whatever. And this I already showcased where it led from. This we're just gonna skip over. One of these days I'm just gonna randomly match all three just by jamming the buttons, but uh, this is not one of those days. Ah, uh, Big Bertha! So I have to fire your flower to protect myself. But yeah, now it goes directly into the water, so you gotta deal with Bertha. Sometimes. Got it. I think this is one of those terrifying levels back when you were younger. Why would you make a level like this, Nintendo? Bertha is terrifying! One up. Final level. You know, before the airship level. Damn it! Fire flower didn't come out quickly enough. And now we have bombs. I, another white thing. Wow, okay, I guess they're actually a bit more common than I remembered. I don't actually know what you can do with this one. Just gonna go back behind it. Not. 
I guess you could go perhaps behind this. I, I really don't know what that white block is for. If you can go behind anything. Whatever the case, this is a, an otherwise kind of boring level, I suppose. Not sure if you're supposed to go here, though. Uh, yes, you are. Okay. That's all this level wrote. <laughs> the only interesting thing is that there's another white block that you can go behind. I thought there was only two, but there's more. And anyway, you definitely don't want to lose the this airship level because uh, if you lose, the airship's going to go all the way back to the left. Also, it won't the Super Mario World enemies. Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed! Please find a magic wand so we can change him back! Sure will, Toad. These airship levels are quite challenging. Not gonna lie, they're, they have a sufficient difficulty curve to them. Just what I needed. Even with my experience. I think it's because they're auto-scrolling. So there's pressure to keep moving. That's why they're challenging. Also there's this thing. Not very useful, gotta be honest. You're supposed to make it move to the other side so that uh, makes it a bit easier to move uh, to the other side, but you can just go down there and it's quite easy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Those are supposed to be wrenches. Also, this is Wendy. Damn it! Her rings are actually quite evil. They stick around forever. And she will fire another third one if you let her. So... <laughs> You, you gotta try to beat her as quickly as possible. Otherwise it gets way too chaotic. I'm not sure if you can jump on the rings to destroy them. I don't think so, but... I could be remembering wrong. Hey, that guy looks kinda like Mario. Oh, splendid, splendid! I am back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. They really couldn't spice up their dialogue a bit, could they? Greetings, you can stop on your enemies with using Goomba's shoe. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Goomba's shoe, Princess Peach? Don't you mean Karibo's shoe? Of course, the joke is that Karibo is a Goomba in Jap J Japan, so... Whatever, it means the same thing. So, this is World 4. I'm gonna... Go there next time. Hope you've enjoyed the video and have a nice day. Bye bye!